Oh well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. Nothing too crazy going on around here today. Uh, the temperature's dropped off a bit. Um, it's a little bit drizzly. So I'm just gonna play around with uh, some of the little trailers on the property, get some stuff squared away ready for the summer. I'll show you what we got going on. So this little John Deere 10P poly cart was on the property when I moved here. Uh, it's in pretty rough shape. The, uh, the support bracket down there and the dumping mechanism, definitely not <laughs> factory installation there. Obviously the last guy broke some stuff and uh, didn't want to spend the money on the parts. So I'm going to uh, put a little parts list together and see what I need to return this back to the way that it should be. Um, this other trailer was on the property. I don't even know if it's a John Deere, honestly. It was absolutely brown rusty when I moved here. I did uh, clean it up and paint it. Uh, and then I have this trailer here, which is another 10P poly cart. I actually purchased this the other day uh, from an online, uh, an online marketplace for 150 bucks Canadian. I couldn't believe it. Uh, it hadn't been advertised for sale for very long. So I snapped it up and I went and grabbed it. It needs a tube, but it's otherwise in really, really good condition. Uh, no cracks, no no dents or anything like that. It's uh, It does have the factory set up for dumping it with the little pedal, which is kind of neat. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch some of the some of the rims around too. The the metal cart has got the same rims as the cart that I just picked up. So I'm gonna pull the rims off that cart, move them onto the original 10P poly cart that was on the property when I moved here, and then we'll have matching 10P poly carts to go behind our two John Deere riding mowers. And the metal one can be the oddball with the weird rims, and I can keep that to pull behind an ATV maybe one day if we get one. Or I actually uh, have uh, installed a piece of two by four down there with an extra little trailer hitch receiver so I can actually double a set of these trailers up and uh, pull two together like a little a little train behind the John Deere. So uh, we do have that capability. So I'll get the camera set up here and uh, see what we can do to turn out uh, something to entertain you for the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh, too much light outside. Uh, fluid film, rust protection, whatever. Pretty standard, I put this stuff on anything I can. All right, so that's done. Was it necessary to change those rims over? Absolutely not. Does my OCD feel so much better knowing that I have two matching trailers to go behind my two green John Deere lawn tractors? 
absolutely 100% it does feel better. Um, so we're gonna pop this rim off here in this tire and I think somebody's heading into town to go find uh, a place that's open that we can drop that off and have uh, a proper tube put in. We did have a couple of tubes hanging around the garage and we, we tried to put them in. This side needed a tube as well. The tube was too small, but we got it in there and that one seems to be holding fine. Uh, the one over here was holding fine, but then I uh, deflated it and tried to straighten the valve stem and when I inflated it the second time, it leaked. So <clears throat> that's what you get for wanting your valve stems to be straight. I should have just left it alone, but anyway, we'll get a proper uh, tube put in that and we'll be good. All right, I think I'm gonna switch gears a little bit, try to get some of these, uh, some of these tires thrown up into those racks, give ourselves some room. And then the plan is to hopefully clear some of the stuff off of this table by building uh, some kind of a shelving unit around that flammable materials locker. I don't know if we'll get there today, but that's the plan. Let's move these tires. All right. Managed to get CRV tires there, Civic tires there, the 2020 Civic. And then I had a couple of spots left over to put the tires in from my Civic because my tire rack is uh, over top of the Ford and that thing's not coming out of there yet. I'm a couple months away from driving that thing. So, my phone's almost dead. I'm gonna go throw that on the charger and then we're gonna tackle this shelf. Well, that's not going to be a viral video by any stretch of the imagination, but the importance of that task cannot be understated. Check it out. We got uh, some shelving built in on top of the flammable locker, and that's going to be great. I'm going to pick up some, uh, some Rubbermaid containers that make better use of the space that's available. I think I can probably get about 12 of that size there, the blue one in there. 
and we can go through all of that stuff a little better. Right now we have 12 volt wiring mixed in with 120 volt wiring mixed in with PVC and ABS fittings and all sorts of stuff. It's a bit of a mess. So it'll be a lot better. Uh, my project table is almost empty, which will be nice because I can have a table to put out in the middle of the garage and I can tackle projects without having to move a bunch of stuff around. So that's going to be it for tonight. If, uh, if you like that, you can like, share, and subscribe. And please uh, follow me on Instagram if you use Instagram, at Killing It Country. And uh, we'll figure something out for the next video. Until then, guys, take it easy.